smart, strong, and sociable. Life is all about choice, and life is growth. At some point, we must choose to grow. You know, babies in high chairs must be hand-fed so they can get the nutrients they need for physical growth. Children, most children are required to attend 12 years of school so their minds can grow, their social skills can grow. And at some point, we no longer need to be force-fed growth. It takes, then, at that point, it takes work on our part. Did you know that about one-third of all high school graduates um, and over 40% of all, all college grads never complete a book the rest of their life? 57% of all books that are started are never read to completion. And we wonder why the world's so divided? All learning, be it books or the all-knowing YouTube university, connects us to another person's thoughts or another person's skills. And I love the, the fact that if a person reads just 15 minutes a day, that they will end up reading about a million words a year. Talk about incremental growth. What potential? How much different would you read would you be if you if you entered a million better words into your mind every year? Talk about life changing habit. Wow. You know, always choose growth and finish those books that you start. <laughs> now these three aspects of Jesus' growth smart, strong, and social. Uh, Jesus had grown swiftly his entire life. He worked his checklist. He learned constantly, and people noticed. Uh, like all uh, healthy life, he never stopped growing, and he still hasn't. Luke 2.52 from The Voice. And Jesus kept on growing in wisdom, in physical stature, in favor with God, and in favor with others. Now, there's three aspects to growth here. Wisdom stature, and favor. Now, we all know that wisdom is growing in the ability to apply knowledge. And physical strength is necessary if we want to do, actually be able to do something, move that wisdom around in our life. But the interesting word here is favor. And the word favor means to be brimming with gratitude. It means to be in favor with God and others, which means that we're easy to be around. A modern word to describe favor would be the word social or sociable. We're enjoyable, we're pleasant, we're cheerful, we're happy, we're gracious, we're generous, we're thankful. And that being said, people must have loved being around Jesus. They must have loved it. He was, he was as magnetic as he was grateful. Now, my wife, who's also pretty easy to be around herself, was brought up to exhibit these same three characteristics, smart, strong, and social. And her parents and grandparents scrimped and saved to send her to private school and to college. And they raised her completely on a Mediterranean diet brimming with veggies. And they walked almost everywhere. And when she would get into her pouty, spoiled Italian baby act mode, they would tell her, if you want to have any friends, you got to smile and act friendly. And Josephine would practice smiling at herself in the mirror until she, it became a habit. And today when I walk with her into her bank or her store, the employees and, and managers usually come out from behind the desks or counters and give her a hug, like she's some kind of local feel-good celebrity. And this is because she made a habit of noticing personal details, listening to their life stories, remembering their names and their birthdays, and bringing them small gifts and cookies. <laughs> and the other night, I took my wife out to dinner at a local chain restaurant. And the server was a slim lady, lady with a lovely dark complexion who looked vaguely familiar to me. And she had an engaging smile 
But that night, she allowed herself to be swept into the hurry-up attitude of the evening rush. And Josephine said to her, you've waited on us before. And she waved off the comment by looking down at her notepad and saying, I've been here a long time. What will you have? And Josephine said, you waited on us when you were pregnant. You seemed tired that day. And the girl's shoulders dropped. And all time seemed to stand still at that moment. And she said, my baby's five years old now. Thanks for remembering me. And later that evening, as she handed us our receipt, she said, I usually work, work over at the bar. Now look for me next time you're in, and I'll show you what it means to be taken care of. Now, needless to say, she's going to never forget Josephine. Because Josephine never forgot her. What, would, what was Jesus like? If Josephine's good, what was Jesus like to be around? What did he remember about you? What, what, what words did he say to make you feel like you're on top of the world? I mean, people just loved it. Remember when he was with those doctors and, and of the law and all that when he was 12? They just loved being around him. For three days. What adults want to hang out with a 12-year-old for three days? Unless you like video games nowadays. I mean, how engaging must that kid have been? Drive your mind to remember positive details about others and, and make note of those things. And people are going to want to be around you. People loved young Jesus. They favored him. That's what that means. Young Jesus was smart, strong, and incredibly sociable. So are you.